In this quick video guide, we're going to talk about Snappa, which is a website or a web app where we can create graphic design. So it's, it's not a software, we don't have to download it actually. We can just click on the website here. You can search for it in Google. And this is the main page. Well, you will have a lot of information in here. Basically, Snappa will help you to create many different types of graphic design. You can use it for social media or marketing or blog or well, multimedia projects uh, for commercial projects or exams or things like that. So you can see here some examples and you can click directly here to get started for free or you can check also the more professional version here. But let's go and have a look what, of what we're gonna find inside Snappa once we have registered. Remember that you need to register, so just type your name, email, and password, and that's it. It's gonna take really a couple of seconds. And here we are inside Snappa. You can see that it's not complex at all. This is the interface. We only have uh, this um, left panel where you can choose the assets that you want to insert. And then you have this top menu here. And down here, you have some navigation tools. You can zoom in and zoom out. You can also scroll with these scroll bars. And well, I've created something real simple here. I'm just gonna show you how you can do it. So you can, well, create a new graphic from here or go to the saved graphics. So you can actually save your project. This is the, the one that you have just seen there. Now I'm gonna create another one. So I'm going to go here, create a new graphic. Okay, and you can see this is probably the page that is gonna be displayed the first time that you're gonna open up the, the web app. And um, you can see here, again, create graphic, saved graphics. Here you can upgrade, here you have help and all your account information right here. Now you can use these templates for social media, for blogging, infographics, for banners, headers, profile pages. You will find a lot of examples like for example, YouTube and screen or YouTube channel art and Twitter, Facebook and so on. Now, if you want, you can create your own site. So I'm gonna select here, for example, 1000 pixels times 200 pixels. So it's gonna be something specific and customized. And let's do create. There you go. Now this is looking like a banner or something like that. I can create um, some advertising banner or uh, a head heading for my website or many more things. So you can here select the background. You have photos, patterns, uploads. You can upload your image from your computer. And also you can set a color here. Okay, so just choose whatever you want. And then you can also create your favorites. Okay, let's change this with a pattern. Real easy. Okay, and then we can go to the effects here and start to work with the post-production, let's say. So you can blur out things, saturate, desaturate. Now this is an interaction again, but if you find um, difficult to understand, you can write your comments, questions, or also suggestions for other users. And if you want, you can support us by subscribing to the channel or joining the channel so we can create more videos about uh, Snapple. But let's just finish here with a simple text. So I'm gonna add a text here and say, Mary Snappa, and then I can double click to change here the color, or I can change the sides. And this, is, this works basically like a word processor. You can do text editing, you can do graphic editing, well, not so much editing, like for example, in Photoshop or Illustrator, but you can do something here with graphics, vectors, photos. You can again upload your assets here. You can create some shapes. And again, you're not gonna have too many 
uh, tools here because this is just a simple web app. But it's a starting point if you want to create, let's say, some uh, mock-up or some draft of what you actually going to do perhaps in another more advanced application. And of course, you can check also the upgraded version here. Now, when you're finished, you can go to the download. Well, you can save it in your space. So you can click on save. It's going to be saved in your Snappa space. And then you can share it directly if you have connected an account like Twitter or uh, Facebook or any other account, social account supported by the Snappa app. And then you can also download. You can see here you have JPEG. If you want transparent background, so without the background, you can save it in PNG. Or again, if you want background, you can save the web optimized JPEG or the Retina JPEG, which is going to be a little bit more um, without uh, more resolution. So let's click for in uh, this option here. And there you go. Just after a few seconds, there's your design there, and it's going to be found in the download folder unless you change position. And this is it. You can open it up and check the results. And you can see it's uh, optimized. So it's going to be really, it's not going to be heavy, but optimized. So you're going to, if you zoom a lot, you're going to see these artifacts. These, these are for the JPEG compression. Now let's go real quick back here and I want to remove the background. Okay. And okay, let's say that I want to keep it white. And then I will go to download and say transparent background and save these as a PNG. So we, we will do another example and let's open it up. And there you go. You can see that the background is gone. So I can take this text or any other infographic or graphic design that I have created here and use it, uh, well, in any other multimedia application, open source application, or more professional applications, you can take this anywhere. And it's not going to have the background. So you can do photo montage and use it again in your social network, use other software, and so on. So this will be all for this really quick and introductory um, video guide, but you can see there is not much left to see here in this standard version. You can just figure out yourself here just by going into the left panels here and start to clicking and dragging or adding the various types of assets and then play around with them. There you go. So here also you have some layers you can move back and forward the assets and you can compose some different um, infographics and you can also duplicate. You can undo, redo your actions. And also you can snap to the grid or not to work more precisely. Well, this is going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.